everybody welcome back again to another video so today i'll be talking about one of the important fellowship through icmr so the fellowship is going to be icmr dhr international fellowship for all the indian biomedical scientists or researchers so watch out the video completely so that you don't miss anything at any point of time so with no more delay let's get started to the video Hey go getters of Biotechnica this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica so first we'll talk about what is the objective or the purpose of this fellowship which is ICMR DHR International Fellowship so the main purpose of this fellowship is to take out all the talented health research personnel who are working abroad or in India we can say and they are going to provide you some opportunities that you can go abroad and have an advanced training and exposure along with an interaction with all the abroad scientists scientists or we can say the researchers abroad so i'll be talking about all this things in detail we'll be talking about what's going to be the eligibility criteria so let's look at two categories of fellowship so i'm going to talk about two important categories that falls under this thing so the first is called as the short term international fellowship this is mainly for all the senior indian biomedical scientists and the second category is going to be it's a long term international fellowship this is for the young indian biomedical scientists so they have two opportunities for two types of people so one is for the senior biomedical scientists and the second is for the young indian biomedical scientists this is going to be for a long term and this is going to be for short term we'll be talking about how much is the duration for whether it's a short term or for long term okay first let's talk about the short term in or we can say the international fellowship for senior indian biomedical researchers the first thing you have to take into consideration is your age limit so the age limit to apply for this one is through your age which is going to be below 57 years so if you are belonging to 57 years then you can start applying for this one what is going to be the area of fellowship this icma usually funds for all the medical research so if we have to talk about areas of fellowship the fellowship can be for any of the proposal which you can write it for clinical medical as well as health sciences so dhr is uh, definitely going to be department of health sciences that they are going to fund you for health sciences projects also how much duration of the fellowship since this is going to be for a short duration of time if you are working in india then you can go abroad and have an exposure for almost some months and then you can return back again so this is for 2 weeks or i can say 15 days 15 days to 3 months so this is given for people who are below 57 years and the next how many number of fellowships are actually available yes for one year they are going to fund for 25 people so if you're watching out this video then you can look for this one i'll be talking about all the eligibility criteria also this is short term what is the eligibility criteria as i already told you it's definitely going to be for indians so the first criteria is going to be an indian citizen start applying for this one what is going to be the qualification this is really important if you have completed your md or your ms or phd in any of the fields or if you have done mbbs or bds in any of these fields like biomedical research or any health science uh, departments we can say along with suppose if you want to apply you need to have 15 years of experience any of these degree with 15 years of experience if you want to avail for 15 days i as i already told you it's going to be a short term duration which is from 15 days till 3 months you can actually apply for this so this 15 days people can apply if they have a phd suppose let's take it as an example along with 15 years of experience suppose if anybody wants to go in for 3 months then they need to have at least a minimum of 3 years so we can say if they have a phd degree along with if they have a 3 years of experience in research or in case of um, a professor if they are being a professor in any of the recognized institute after obtaining a specific qualification so these two people can actually apply for this short term international fellowship wherever they wanted to go they can apply in any part of the world and they can start their project only for a stipulated period of time so this is actually a wonderful opportunity which really adds up to the resume the next question for us is what is going to be the requirements so eligibility is done the next is going to be requirement what are the requirements so this is very important the application has to be forwarded by the employer suppose if you are working in a 
uh, institutions or if you're working in a laboratory or if you're working in a college, then they have to forward that letter to the uh, ICMR, we can say, or from the HOD with a statement as a full-time employee of the institution. You have to be a full-time employee of the institution where exactly you're working during the period of his or her fellowship. During that time, only the HOD or we can say the employer can actually forward the letter to the ICMR DHR. The next one is going to be you need to get a letter of recommendations or acceptance from the host institute. Suppose, let me take it as an example. Suppose uh, if you're going to go for Germany, and if you want to work in Germany very specifically, let me take as an example, Heidelberg University, you want to work in a laboratory, then if you need to get an acceptance letter from the Germany or from the specific laboratory, then you can actually send that letter of acceptance or invitations exactly from the institute where you're going to do your research or a short duration of experience for some period of time. The next is definitely going to be the proposed training for availing the fellowship. You need to have your, what you're exactly going to do it for 15 days or for three months. You need to have a proposed work for that. You're going to submit that also. These are very important requirements. The next one, if you're belonging to any of the private colleges or any private universities, then this is very important. You need to submit a recognition letter, very important, from All India Council for Technical Education, AICTE. If you're belonging either from a private institute or private university, then you need to get a recognition letter from AICTE. This is the most important thing. The next important thing is applicants should not have availed any Similar fellowship from ICMR. Suppose if you are going to apply for ICMR DHR, you should not apply for any other ICMR fellowship. So these are some of the requirements you need to take into consideration if you want to be considered either for 15 days or for three months. So three months, especially for people who have PhD plus three years of experience and 15 days is for 15 years of experience where you can go explore and come back again to India. Okay. What's the financial aid they're going to provide you? What's the support, nature of support they're going to provide you? Definitely, they're going to provide you stipend. Suppose, let's take it as an example for three months. So, they're going to give you US dollar of 3,000 for one month, which approximately is 2 lakh rupees for one month, along with your accommodation and other expenses are included in this stipend, we can say, 15 to 30 days stay. So this is for short term they are talking about. So this you will be getting an advanced stipend will also be given. Before that you will be given an advanced stipend before itself which is equivalent to the amount in Indian rupees they will be giving you. The next most important thing is suppose there is going to be a balance amount. Uh, approximately 10% of the stipend is available. This refund will be given after fellowship is completed when you submit uh, any kind of utilization certificate. Then definitely this will be done. The next is going to be return economy airfare will also be provided for you when you're traveling for 15 or 30 days. During that time, they will be giving you and definitely they're going to give you a contingency grant of rupees 50,000 which includes your visa cost along with your taxi charge, whether your transportation from airport to the location or they will also take this for MediClaim insurance. Medical insurance will also be considered. So this is going to be for 15 to 30, uh, 30 days or we can say for three months, this is also going to be the same criteria. You'll be getting all this thing. Okay, this is for people, I, I told you, for PhD with 15 years of experience or MS or MD with 15 years of experience and 3 years of experience where you can go for short-term fellowship, international fellowship, any part of the world. The next is going to be for young researchers. So if you are a PhD holder, if you're working in a college or if you are actually doing any kind of research in a laboratory, then you can go in for this uh, international fellowship, which is for a long duration of time. So what about this fellowship? The areas of fellowship is definitely going to be the same, same clinical, medical, as well as health sciences. And this is for six to 12 months, almost a year, I can say. Exactly for one year, six to 12. 12 months you can avail this fellowship and then you can come back to India. How many fellowships are available? Yes, this is literally high. Almost going to be 40 fellowship for one year, but it's going to be very, very competing fellowship also. The age limit is definitely going to be below 45 years. We already know uh, the short term duration is 57 years, below 57 years. This is below 45 years. If you have completed your PhD, then you can definitely go for this fellowship. The eligibility criteria, as if we have seen before, Indian nationals, 
along with the same criteria you can actually apply for this if you have your PhD then you can apply for it and you need to have all the requirement documents if you're working in any of the institute then you need to have your acceptance from the host institute where you're going to work on and your proposed training along with it if you're from private colleges then you need to have your recognition letter as well as you should not avail any other similar fellowship the same eligibility and the requirement is going to be same for both the cases whether it is long term or short term uh, fellowship you can say okay what about the financial aid? The financial aid is also going to be the same. You can say as if we have seen it before. This is also going to be $3,000 and economy class tickets and contingency grant. So all are going to be same. How is the screening process, whether it is short term or long term going to be? Or we can say the selection criteria. Yes, it's of course going to be screened by ICMR DHR or we can say ICMR committee members will be doing it. And the selection is mainly based on evaluating your merit. So they'll evaluate your merit along with your trainings that you need in the field of medical research. How far you're well experienced in it, mainly based on your uh, publications and all the stuffs. So based on this one, they'll definitely select people and they will be announcing in the website who got selected in the PDF format. Okay. So the next point, Rema, the most important point, there are a list of points that's given in the guidelines you can check, but this is one of the most important points. If you fail to return to India, suppose if you're going there and if you're doing your uh, internship or we can say a fellowship for almost three months or 15 days, or if you're doing it for six months or 12 uh, months, almost a year, and if you fail to come back to India, gets a job overseas. Suppose if you get a job over there and if you're not coming back to India, on completion of the fellowship, after getting this fellowship and you got a job and if you're not coming back again, reimburse the whole of the expenditure inquired during the fellowship. Whatever you got uh, during the fellowship period, whether it's airfare or your expenses or contingency grant, whatever it is, if you got any work abroad over there, then you have to return everything back again to ICMR from including your airfare from the guarantees in one lump sum within one month you have to give it to the ICMR so you have to remit everything to the ICMR so what's the main purpose they are doing is they want you to have an exposure and come back to India and implement the same suppose if you're getting a job over there and staying over there then you have to give them back all the amount that they have given you during the in in fellowship period, we can say. So this is one of the most important point that you have to take into consideration. So today we were actually talking about the short term international fellowship where you can go abroad and uh, stay for almost 15 to 30 days. And the next one is definitely going to be a long term fellowship for all the young Indian biomedical scientists where you can go and work for almost six months to 12 months, almost one year. So make sure you check out all the eligibility criteria and then go for it. The next point, how is the application process going to be? Of course, it's going to be online. All of you know it's going to be through the ICMR portal. So you can literally go to ICMR DHR. And this will be all around the year. So you can check for the uh, website ICMR and you can look for when is going to be the notification or else you can check in for Biotechnica website also. Definitely there's going to be a registration process and then you'll be logging in and you'll be submitting your required documents, mainly your transcript and all those things along with a PDF format. Every document has to be in a PDF format and definitely your digital signature, which is in the JPEG form, has to be uploaded in their website. You have to register, log in, and then fill all the profiles of yourself and then upload the documents, whichever is asked, and then submit the application process. Okay. Now, we have talked about whether it's going to be a short-term fellowship or whether it's going to be long-term fellowship. So, suppose if you're from private university or public university or government university, or if you are from any of the national laboratories, then if you're finding some other opportunities to have a kind of exposure abroad, then I would suggest this is definitely going to work for you because you can either go for a long term or you can go for a short term international fellowship where you're going to gain a lot of things and bring back to India. So I believe this video is helpful for you. So if you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel, Biotechnica. Thank you all of you for your time and I'm going to meet you back again with yet another useful video. Thank you.